Hey, welcome into Woosh Wednesday where we have another CBCS unboxing for a submission I did for me and my co-host on the Comic Council, Zach. So let's get this box open and get them, uh, get them out to show you. Okay, well, we got them out of the bubble wrap. They were securely wrapped in bubble wrap with uh, paper around them to keep them nice and snug inside the box so there'd be no damage. So I know the grades already. I looked online. I'm, I'm really, really terrible at surprises. But let's go through them and we'll discuss kind of some of the grades and the graders notes with them. Um, this is the first time uh, Zach has ever had me submit books for him or really submitted any books on his own. So I'm a little bummed for him on some of the grades. Uh, we didn't clean them. We didn't press them. We submitted them as is. So this is literally the natural state of him buying books and the grades that came from buying the books. Same with the books that I submitted for myself on this one. Um, they were straight off the shelf from when I purchased them and the grades aren't going to, for the most part, be 9.8s, 9.6s or anything along those lines. So they're still good. Very excited. And like I said, I, I slab a lot of them for sentimental reasons. Um, one of which I will explain in a future video when I discuss um, a trip to Montreal. So uh, let's get started. Our first book up. is Iron Man 282. This is considered the first appearance of the War Machine armor. Um, also notes S.H.I.E.L.D. and James Rhodes' appearance, uh, appearance as well. So I'm really bummed it came back a 3.0 for him. I, when I was going through his collection, he mostly just collects Iron Man. Um, and you'll see another Iron Man coming up for him. Um, so when I went through, I determined this one and the other book you'll see were the ones most like well, most worth grading for him and I felt bad that this one came back a 3-0 um, to be honest though it'll look nice on his wall if he wants to put it out there um, it did say it had some water damage on it um, some spine ticks which I did see the spine ticks before I didn't happen to catch the water damage um, but I think he'll still be excited to have this book and have it graded so he can put it up somewhere and it look really nice um, and again, these new CBCS labels look amazing. I really, really like them. I think they go really, really well with the CGC labels. So very, very excited to, to be able to give them that one. The next one I actually thought did pretty well for them. Um, and I'm actually really, really stoked he got this one graded because again, it's another one that if you put it up on the wall, it looks fantastic. Um, so let's get into it. Iron Man 150. Uh, Doctor Doom cover and appearance, Morgan Le Fay and King Arthur appearance, 150th anniversary edition. This cover is pretty famous because it has Iron Man and Doom on it. It's a real, it's a um, all black cover, so it's really really hard to do really really well on it considering uh, it's from 1981. So at this point, it's 43 years old. So um, I was really really happy this one came back a 75 for him. I, I wished it would have been better, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. It's, it presents really, really well. And then if you put both of these up on the wall at the same time for them, you've got two different errors of, um, Iron Man, but I think they, they kind of complement each other really well, especially with the color scheme. So very, very excited for that for him. Um, so let's jump into the books that I got graded for myself. Um, and I say that, but the first book I didn't really get graded for me uh, is more for my wife, who has really, really enjoyed the storyline um, after reading it. And that is Rogue and Gambit, number four, and a 9.8 from CBCS, which is really, really cool. Um, on the cover here, you'll see that there are playing cards. Each one of them happen to be different characters that are connected to the story. So... Uh, Juggernaut is down here, uh, Creed, the Absorbing Man is on here. Some really, really cool um, cool little Easter eggs if you look at it. Um, Lady Deathstrike is on the card up here. So really, really cool. Right, really, really stoked. And um, this one did come out in, uh, in uh, August of 2023, so it's relatively new. So it's really great that it came back a 9.8. Um, very, very excited for that one. So, let's jump into the bigger books that I submitted as part of this. And I will jump in and discuss this a little bit more 
at a later video, um, but I did buy this on a guy's trip to Montreal for um, my best friend's wedding. So um, I had to get it graded. I knew it was gonna come in a little rough, but I needed to grade it. And I'll tell more about that story when I tell you guys the Montreal trip story, because I will get into that. It, it, there's a very heavy comic focus to that story, at least on my end. So I will share that uh, in that video. Just look, be on the lookout for that one uh, coming soon. But quickly, we have X Factor number six, first full appearance of Apocalypse, Ein Sebrenner, Alliance of Evil, uh, Tower, Frenzy, Time Shadow, and Stinger appearance. So uh, yeah, this book, first of the full appearance of Apocalypse. I just love this cover. Um, I found it on that trip and I had to buy it. So um, I really wanted to get it graded so I could put it up on my wall with my other books. Like I said, I looked at it. I knew this one was in rough shape for me and it didn't matter. Um, the sentimental value behind it was enough to want to get it graded for me and that's what I did. So I'm um, very, very, very lucky um, to have this book. Very very glad to have it and the story behind it is pretty great too so um just be on the lookout for that video coming up soon um but yeah x factor number six first full appearance of apocalypse very very stoked to add that one in um so in the comments let me know if uh you enjoyed the blue beetle movie that came out um i personally went to go see it in theaters i thought it was fantastic um it was really, really fun. It's one of the few DC movies I've been to recently that I walked out of the theater and went, wow, I would watch that again. That was actually really good. Um, so because of that, um, I was on the lookout for this book and um, I found it at uh, Counterplay Comics in Burlington, Mass. So for that one, we have Infinite Crisis number five, first appearance of Jaime Reyes, as the Blue Beetle. So this is the George Perez cover. There is another cover that actually depicts Blue Beetle on the cover. And that one goes for a little bit more, but um, I was very, very excited to actually find this one, to pick it up and to add Jaime Reyes' first appearance as Blue Beetle to my collection. Um, got a great deal on it. I think I paid $10. So came back a nine two and um, yeah. So I have it in my collection now. Very, very, very fortunate. Again, um, these books have been amazing to me. Um, and I'm just, just happy to have them. And like I said, these were literally purchased right off the shelf and uh, graded. No no work done on them at all. Um, CBCS is really nice to include some flyers in their stuff for future grading. In case you know, I didn't know to use them already for grading, but that's, not, that's neither here nor there. Um, this last book is one I bought from my local comic shop, Nick's Comic Strip. Um, again, I'll include links to both them and Counterplay um, in my description below. Make sure to check them out and support them. I cannot emphasize it enough. Support your local comic shops. Um, they're great. I know eBay is really easy, really convenient. Um, and I do still buy off of there, clearly based on my top picks from uh, 2023 video quite a few of those are purchased from eBay so I will not criticize anybody for purchasing on there but if you can also try to support your local comic shop we need them um, so yeah like I said this one was purchased from Nick's comic strip and um, it's one I'd had my eye on for a while and I was figuring I was putting this submission together for Zach and I was like you know what Let's submit some books. So uh, clearly I submitted Apo the first appearance of Apocalypse, the first appearance of Jaime Reyes, and King Size Avengers, uh, King Size Annual Avengers number 10. This is the first appearance of Rogue and Madeline Pryor as a child in Cameo, Carol Danvers, uh, X-Men Spider-Woman, and Brotherhood of Evil Mutants appearance. And this is often cited as the first cover appearance of Mystique. So... It came back a 6-0. There was definitely some damage along the cover here that I could see before I submitted it. Um, but to be completely honest, I'm not mad at a 6-0 on it. Um, there's definitely some damage in there that you can't do much about. Um, but again, this is one of those ones where 
I'm going to put it up on my wall. It's going to match all of my comics. It's going to look great with them. Um, just thinking about um, pairing this one with this one and being able to put both of those up, the first Apocalypse, the first Rogue, amazing. Um, along with the other X-Men books that I have, or X-Men related books that I have, stoked. Um, very, very excited, very, very glad to have both of these. So, um, honestly, for graded straight off of the, off the rack books, it could have gone, it could have gone way worse. It could have gone way better. Um, I have nothing against cleaning and pressing. I do actually have a couple of books out with uh, Bobby's Retro World to be cleaned and pressed right now. So again, I'll include that link in Instagram too if you ever need to get in contact with them for cleaning, pressing, and grading services. They obviously don't grade, but they'll clean and press and probably be able to help facilitate you getting them to uh, CGC or CBCS for grading. So uh, definitely make sure to check them out. Um, again, thank you to Nick's Comic Strip for my awesome King Size Annual Avengers number 10, Rogue. Very, very pumped for that one. Um, and don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want more uh, unboxings in the future, remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you here next time on Whoosh. Thanks. Whoosh.